With the recent influx in virtual reality headsets popping up from developers all over the world, we yet to discover which product is going to win the race for the ultimate virtual reality controller. With that being said, we thought we'd put together a list of our favourites competing for that position. Dexmo F2 the Dexmo F2 comes from Dexter Robotics. It's a mechanical ectoskeleton glove that uses a braking system to restrict the motion of the user's fingers. This innovative force feedback design will capture the movement of the user's hand as they traverse the virtual world. The most exciting thing about this product to us though, is that you would definitely feel like a cyborg if you are wearing it. Control VR Control VR is another tip leader in the race for virtual reality input device supremacy. And they've got off to a good start this year on Kickstarter. With 1,161 backers pledging the best part of $450,000. The developers of Control VR have put forward this intuitive input device that is also coming to us in the form of a glove. Developers claim that the Control VR offers extremely low latency of around 12 milliseconds, which is just slightly less than the lag that you would get from your computer's keyboard. The Control VR can currently be obtained as a dev kit for the cool price of around $600. Hands Omni Glove. Developers at Rice University have designed a new haptic glove that uses air to inflate small bladders that have been placed at significant points throughout the glove. The bladders then inflate and deflate in accordance to the information being fed back by the virtual world, allowing the user to receive forced feedback from their interactions with the software and their environment. The design is still in early development stages, however a recent sponsorship from Virtuix, the company behind the Virtuix Omni Virtual Reality Treadmill, could mean that we may well be seeing more from the Omni Glove. For more information on virtual reality technology, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.